Happy Sunday. Happy Mastery Day. We can claim that for this week ahead. As you guys are coming in, just to remind you that this is being recorded. A lot of this time, a good, I'm going to try for, for 35. If we can get 45 minutes of work done on this, this would be amazing. And this is yeah. what the call is for. So the last two calls, though, were fabulous training. If you didn't get those, I think, yeah, there are replays available. I'm working on um, editing them just so that they're, you know, the good meat part of the call so that you get the info and the training because we did some good stuff the past couple of weeks. But this co-working call, I'm going to actually put in a link. It's a very long link, but that is to the Canva template of this uh, for this call. And the Canva template, if I do say so myself, is pretty darn good. It has uh, a page where it leads you through some really beautiful uh, emotions, vibrations, if we will, of where we want to be at the end of this coming week. So it's Sunday and we're projecting our intention to the end of this week. And we're really tuning into how we want to feel at the end of this next week. So a lot of the words are like contentment, positivity, clarity, prosperity, happiness, wholeness. Really think about this end of this week and how you would like to feel. And we start there and we work our way back. There's also a really cool um, new tool that I created called the five non-negotiables. And these five non-negotiables are five things that you, you may not have thought of before that you could be, I almost said the should word, um, that you could be doing to move yourself forward and they may not be actions. This is a co-working call. So you're going to be actually doing one of those five non-negotiables, focusing on either the emotional or the mental or the energetic, the alignment or the action. And then there are, um, I have a little baby kitten on my lap again. Um, there are five actions or techniques or processes that you could do within each of these five categories that are your non-negotiables. So maybe uh, we think that we need to be doing content for our socials, for our IG, or maybe we think that we should be doing uh, creating reels or stories, but maybe it's the mindset that really needs your focus for today to set up your week, right? So that is, we can muscle test that. And this is, again, we're going to do a process right now where I want you to really take some deep breaths into your heart. Come back to your body, come back to your breath. And I want you to perceive as you're breathing into your heart and then pull that energy down to your abdomen. I want you to just become aware of your energy and allow your energy to expand out and fill up the room that you're in. And as your energy is at this expanded state, perceive all of the things that are in that room around you and start to become grateful for each and every one. The chair underneath us. If you have an animal, share some gratitude with that animal, one or two or four. Maybe it's a pen. Maybe you have a favorite pen. 
Is that a cat? Do you hear the purring? Yeah. Yes. I thought it was you, Marley. But no. like, yeah, it's it's. I guess it's Jillian. Yeah. I, I can't see it, but. I am purring on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> I purr for you. Look at the kitty. You got a tuxedo baby too. Yes, and mm -hmm. she's um. Yeah. Polydactyl. Oh. She's okay. Got six little fingers, four fingers and uh -huh. uh, well, really, yeah, four fingers and two thumbs. The tuxedo girls are the nicest girls. Oh, I have two other girls, and they're pretty nice as well. Yeah, we but got. Yes, if you hear purring, all is, kitties is best kitties. Yeah, that's little little Cookie. I didn't name her. Oh, but, I call yeah. my cat Cookie too because she looks like an Oreo. Oh. my and then my parents we had uh we, we long ago had a uh a black and white cat i think it was mostly white or something but called it oreo oh. That's yeah so she's funny. a little oreo right baby <laughs> come here come here oh, okay <laughs> so enough with the kitty time we love our kitties <laughs> we love our animals come back to your breath come back to your energy got lots of cool stuff in the room yeah so f focusing and sending gratitude to a bunch of those things that surround you and as you expand your energy out again as you come back to your breath pulling that breath down to your abdomen and intending to send out gratitude to all of these things these objects that are in your room that are contributing to you contributing to your life contributing to your abundance And then expand your energies out. I just read that. You guys are in the room too. Yes. We're sending energy to you too. And gratitude. Now expand your energy out. A hundred miles beyond where your physical body is. And a hundred miles beyond that. And this is a state of being, not doing. Be expanded out farther and farther and farther. And allow your energy to expand out beyond where your physical body is. Out past this earth. Into this galaxy past the galaxy past this universe and expanding out farther and farther and notice that you can expand it's like if you're looking for the outside edges of you you can't find them And at this expanded state, focusing on your life, your goals, the things that you'd really love to be, the things that you'd really love to experience. And there may be a lot of those things that you'd like to experience, which is a great thing. Focusing on your key goal, your chief aim, your target. What is it this week that you could do, you could be, you could start that would get you, leapfrog you, even a few dozen steps beyond where you are now toward your chief aim toward your goal toward your your target what is what is that what are those things and reminding your energy that you're still expanded you feel like you're trying to think about what you could be doing what you want to achieve what you want to um, experience 
what you want to actualize or materialize in your life, when you start thinking of those things, you could start to, to contract a little bit. Remind your energy that you're still expanded. And now come back to the idea of this week and imagine yourself at the end of this week and you are delighted, inspired, fulfilled, motivated, You feel a sense of security, success, contentment. And then ask yourself as you're going back to those emotions, ask yourself what transpired this week for me to feel those things. What was that? Maybe there were a few things. Hold space for that awareness to come to you. And if you know what transpired, what happened this week to get you to a state of contentment, joy, meaning, fulfillment, comfort, certainty, motivation, prosperity. And holding space for the things that transpired to get you to that state. What can you do today to set those things up? What are those things? And you can muscle test this again. Sometimes the mind comes into play and goes, oh, you could do this and this and this and this and this. The mind really loves to kind of overwhelm us with a bunch of maybe unnecessary things. So go back to your expanded state. Maybe do the alpha breath. So thinking of three, three times as you you breathe in, exhale, repeating, visualizing three, three times. Deep breath in again, as you exhale, repeating, visualizing two, three times. Breathing in again, exhaling, visualizing and repeating one, three times. Coming back to that beautiful alpha state, tuning into your body. And we just did that expansion. So we're expanding our energy out, which is a state of being, not doing. The alpha breath is a, is a doingness, but it brings us to a beautiful, balanced, centered state. And it tunes us into that alpha state of mind. So our beta brain doesn't go into hyperdrive of I could do this and this and this. And let me like make a list of 35 things that I can do today, right? The brain wants to go into overwhelm. We want to be in a state of being right now. So hey, Kate, so glad you're here. We just did a few little short exercises, but just quickly expand your energy out. Now Kate's worked with me for quite a while. So Kate is really good at really quick at expanding her energy out, going to alpha, going to gratitude, thinking of how you want to be at the end of this week, how you want to feel, holding space for the things that could 
take place this week in order for you to feel that way on Friday or Saturday, the end of this next, this week. And then tuning into what can I do today to get those things started or even done? Coming back to check in with those five non-negotiables. Five non-negotiables are, again, our brain will say, wow, okay, well, you could do um, 27 reels and you could do um, 15 posts and ooh, maybe you can start a meditation series and what would be really cool, really, really cool is if we go for a walk and park every single day today and do like a live video, right? Like your brain will give you so many things that you could be doing. What are your five non-negotiables to move you forward this week? We're just looking for five. So tuning into those five things, and again, they could be mindset, energy, alignment, emotion, or action. Holding space for those things. And throughout, we're, we're doing pretty good. We're almost at 20 after. Now I want you to recall that process that we just went through. And I want you to come back to your body, get a piece of paper and a pen or pencil. And I'd love for you to write down what you could be doing during this call Write down any insights that you received and if you didn't see it, the Canva template link is in the chat. If you don't see it, let me know. But you can go to that Canva template and look at those words and really ask yourself, how do, how do I want to feel at the end of this week? Go through those five non-negotiables. And you have a really good target for what you would like to achieve at the end of this week. How does that feel? is everybody clear write down what you want to achieve this week write down what you could be doing in quotation marks on this call to move you closer move you forward bring you into arm's reach with that goal So do you guys now have clarity on what you could be doing, creating, achieving, being on today's call that would move you closer to experiencing that 
end of week intention? Do you have clarity on what you could be creating today on the call and afterwards? But this call is really for some, you know, if you're like me, <laughs> if I want to work on a book or work on a song, work on music, work on art, 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 I can jump into I Maybe have to borrow and mirror that for other things. But if I'm writing a book, I'm like, okay, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to write this book. But before I do that, I'm going to clean the kitchen. <laughs> Maybe there's, you know, a couple dishes that I have to do. So I think, okay, I'll do that first. And then, oh, shoot, you know what? I need to, you know, clean the studio because the kitten's in there. It's not, I call it a studio. It's really not a studio right now because the kitten's in there. She has that whole room to herself. It's her safe space. But this call is to actually get stuff done. Write the emails write the blog post, do do an outline for videos, do reels, do stories. If, if you've muscle tested that your five non-negotiable is action, right? So let's do that now. We've expanded out, we've gone into alpha, We've taught, I think, thought, gone into, sat in gratitude. We've projected how we want to feel at the end of this week. And then we held space for what are the things that could happen that I can perceive, because we can't perceive everything. The universe may think of um, 20,000 things that could happen to get you to that end goal and state. We could think of, me. I can maybe think of five. Right, so hold space for what the possibilities are that could transpire this week to get you to that end feeling, that end goal. And then thinking about what you could do today to help to set those things up this week, be easier, be done. And now I want you to think of all of that, hold that in your mind, projecting the I am of the end of the week being that intense, beautiful, expanded state of blessings and abundance and positivity. Now tuning into your body, you have those five non-negotiables. They are energy, mindset, emotion, alignment, and action. Which one of those needs your focus, needs your energy? Today, to set you up for success this next week. To set you up to achieve that end goal. The end goal is feeling those feelings of satisfaction and joy and confidence and growth and prosperity and excitement. And if you think that you're thinking about that, if that's a conclusion, that's an expectation. If that's your brain giving you the answer, remember to go into the expanded state. Go into gratitude. And then test those five again. Which one needs, desires, could really use your attention, intention, energy today? And if you want, you can unmute and let us know which one of those five you perceive would... you'd like to focus on, Gage, yeah? Yes. Um, so what, uh, what flashed in my mind is mindset. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's kind of almost something I'm always thinking about, but that's what popped in my mind. And actually before this, which I continue, I'm basically going through a bunch of stories that 
I have made in the past, like positive stories and like reorganizing them and, and add, adding and updating them and move, moving some round and then maybe give myself a pat on the back or nice, uh, you know, self love, oh. self appreciation or confidence or whatever for the ones that I have achieved. Yes. So. It's very much mindset. It is kind of action, but mostly mindset, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. And yeah, is that what you 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 feel you got that would be the most beneficial to work on today? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then some for the, the rest of the week, but uh, like a goal. And then uh, a, this one I just added, but I could always do this one more, right? It's just so good, but be more appreciative. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that is good. Anybody else like to share what you got, the awareness that you received, and what you want to be focusing on for this the next half an hour? Mine is taking action and getting things done off my to do list. My my, the end of week intention that showed up for me was feel lighter, relieved, and accomplished to see so many things off my to-do list done. Mm, beautiful. Yeah, I had a client a while ago, and we were working on um, making daily lists of things that she could be doing, creating to move her closer to her goal in business. And the first thing she put on the, on the list was make a list. So she had something to check off of her list. Each I time. identify so strongly with that. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I love it. Marley, did you get insight into what um, you're doing today? Yeah. Sometimes, you know, we're called human beings. So Marley, I'm going to do anything Marley, except Marley, for be myself. Marley, do you have insight? on what you're wanting to achieve and create and do on the call today. Yes, uh, be a human being. So be myself, I'm already great as I am, and I'm going to go outside and soak up the sun and hug some trees. Okay, there we go. Amazing. All right, so we have half an hour, guys. Well, we really have, I'm going to come back um, at about 10 to, so we have about 20 minutes to a uh, focused work to get some of this stuff done. You may, I'm going to mute myself, but my video may go off um, to take care of little cookie here and the other cats are in the bathroom. So I may be letting them out. We do a little switcheroo, <laughs> make everybody happy, keep mama dancing and, you know, going from foot to foot. But I will be here. Take these 20 I, minutes to really focus. I will be on. hugging trees. Okay. And and will that will that move you closer to your end of week goal? Oh yeah. I'll I'll make sure I give them a kiss too. What is your end of week goal, Marley? To be happy. And to be one with nature in the sense that I am, it's flowing through me, so it inspires me and uplifts me. And what will that contribute throughout this week that will move you closer to your chief aim, your business goal or your income goal? Well, right. So being in nature is grounded and it brings the insights and it allows the manifestations to manifest. Like... I'm gonna soak up that good good energy. That sun mm. be awesome. Mm -hmm. I That's would cool. suggest really doing some as you're grounded, as you're hugging and kissing trees, which are it's amazing. I love trees. I have very many pictures of me as throughout my life hugging trees, and uh, it's beautiful. As you're doing that really expand out again and connect to your purpose of what you okay. could be creating because there's an energy of up here and in the air 
when you're talking about groundedness, but your energy is way up in the air. And maybe you do need some groundedness to go out and touch a tree and hug a tree, but come back to the earth and come back to your purpose. Cause this isn't, this is a, a physical life. Well, my purpose is always divine union. That's okay. always my goal. Awesome. Good. So as, as you're doing that, just check in with what are the other five of the five non-negotiables is important for you to be and experience this uh, today on this call to set you up for the week that makes the week easy and aligned so that you can have your your end of goal this week come come back to that purpose remind your brain there is a purpose to this Mm -hmm. The purpose is usually more than I just want to be grounded or um, something eth ethereal and esoteric. The, our, we, we are here in a physical body. So tuning into what what can move me closer to achieving my goal. That's what this this call is for so that we can really have an easy week where our goal just flows in it's natural for us to achieve that goal whether it's you know I, we're all business owners so whether it's new clients whether it's um getting part of the book written whether it's um getting you know stuff done in the business so that people know where who you are and where you are and how they can reach out to you really 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 important so take some time now Go and do those things and I'll meet you guys back here in a few minutes.
All right, let's do a couple more minutes, guys. And then we can come back and check in. All right, guys, finish up what you're working on. And then come back in. I thought this would be a good idea to have, you know, just kind of a please stand by screen as we're working and if I have to go away from the computer we'll uh, we'll have this image up on the recording as well I can stop share right now and let me know what uh, how did you find that did you get some stuff done I remember I think the first co-working call I went on I was on um everybody had their videos on and you just like saw the top you just saw the top of people's heads because they were just they were you know writing they were working they were doing their stuff and it was really interesting and i thought what do i what do i i was a little uncomfortable i don't think i it felt like somebody was looking over my shoulder as i was doing my work or something it was just a really strange feeling but then when I got into it, about, you know, about a good five minutes in, I really picked up speed because I was in that collective energy of, oh, we're all working on something. We're all getting our stuff done. So there was an accountability there. There was a collective connection and support, feeling of support, energy of support. And it was a really beautiful, process and that gave me momentum throughout that time of that call that gave me momentum that after that call finished i kept working because i liked the feeling of oh i'm actually getting stuff done i'm not feeling you know that there was that feeling of oh i better get up and go do the dishes or maybe the cats need something or you know my dog could always go for he could be out in the snow for hours he would just love it <laughs> he's like an eskimo dog uh, maybe he's part husky i don't know but there's on that call i felt the need to just keep my butt where it was because everybody else was working so i wanted to get my work done as well so that momentum carried through and i got so much done that day and that's what I hope this is for you guys, that it builds momentum. It gives you that feeling of support and 
accomplishment. You're, you're accomplishing things on this call. And whether or not you're like me and you're a little ADHD or OCD or a f probably a variety of different things, multi-creative. So there's always something in my head. Hopefully this gives you the strategies that are beneficial to help you actually get stuff, do stuff that's actually going to move the needle forward. I want you to actually achieve things, achieve your goals this week. So from the beginning of the call, when we tuned into what you want to accomplish at the end of this week, has that stayed the same? Has that increased in intensity? Has that felt like, wow, I'm actually, I feel like I can achieve that. I can be that. I can do that. I can have that. I can experience that. Has that goal changed for you? Because sometimes, you know, um, when we do this work, when we come to center, when we hold space for what we really are here to achieve and accomplish, We think it's one thing that will move the needle forward, but it's really when we hold space, we perceive, we become available to get the download that it's really this thing over here. So what are your thoughts on that? How was this co-working session for you. And if you do enjoy these, please send me a message so that I don't have to use your name or your your picture, but I can um, use that as a testimonial and we can get more people in here because the more people and you know, we have, there's four of us here right now. So let's pat ourselves on the back for showing up for our week. And oh, you didn't see it, but Cookie raised her hand as well. Maybe she was patting me on the back too, saying, thanks mom. Thanks, foster mom, for keeping me on your lap this whole time. But uh, yeah, you showed up. You showed up for your business. You showed up for your goals. You showed up for this week to get this week started on a really, really positive and inspired note. And you can you can take a screenshot, if you will of that energy of I've showed up for myself, I've showed up for my business. You can take a screenshot of that feeling and you can come back to it. If you ever feel any like frazzled or I don't know what to do, or there's so many options, I feel a little overwhelmed. You can come back to this feeling. Gage, you have your hand raised. Yes, you. It felt like you were reading on mine. I mean, you're. I'm pretty sure you're a psychic of some kind. I mean, it's, <laughs> <laughs> right? That's just like the the most modest, not modest statement. The most. I don't know. <laughs> under underestimated statement. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. But uh, <laughs> thank you. Um, well, I while I was doing the co working, I felt like amazed because. I didn't feel like I was working with y'all physically, right? Because I'm used to that, working physically with other people. But I felt the energy there. I felt like some kind of support that I've never felt before. Mm -hmm. Because it was subtle, it wasn't direct. Because I didn't, we weren't working the same environment, we weren't work, lurking online on the same thing. But then you also said the snapshot thing. So I kind of felt more um, motivated. It was like a, sort of like a, maybe a spiritual caffeine or something. Um, and uh, I felt more like it felt more smooth. It didn't feel like work to an even lesser extent because it, it doesn't what I was doing. It didn't really feel like work. It just felt like a little bit maybe. But so I know that I can take a an emotional uh, snapshot and then capture that and bring that on to the rest of the week until the next call. Yeah, just kind of nice. So mm -hmm. um, I think that's what I'm going to do. Just be like, yeah, I'm just co-working. I can just tell myself that or just feel that. Like, oh, yeah, I'm co-working right now. Yeah. Because in a way, though, I feel like this spiritual connection is really between, like, our inner beings, right? Or something like that. It's like some harmonious thing. But all our, all our spiritual essence of each other is beyond time and space. Like, we're, we don't have to be thinking about each other to, to get that sort of feeling. Right. You know? So I think it's accessible. Yeah. Good. I love that. I wrote that down. This is like spiritual caffeine. <laughs> I love it. It's completely pure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for people who might be allergic or like, oh, it's too much. No, 
no, not this one. <laughs> yeah. Really good. Yeah, and I love that. And there is, you know, there is entanglement. And I remember um, I was, I worked at an optical store. I won a free, they did a contest and I was one of the ones that won a free cruise from Miami to, I think it was the Bahamas. And that was such an amazing trip. Mm. I had a little bit of difficulty. I'm a very analytical person. So I'm on the boat and this is a huge cruise ship. And I'm like, okay, we're like 14 stories up above the water, but I know that we're not 14 stories below the water. So I'm like, I don't understand how this is staying afloat, but I'm just going to, you know, trust that somebody you know is smarter than me and knows what they're doing <laughs> i had a you know a moment there at the beginning but once i got used to it it was a really beautiful experience and i remember one night there was a full moon and i went out on the deck and nobody was out there and i stood at the um, stern and I looked out at the moon and the waves and just the motion of the waves and the water and the sounds. And I said, I want to take a snapshot of this. Yeah. And that feeling of just peace and serenity was so overwhelming. And it wasn't, I don't think it was the overwhelm that allowed me to do that. It was my choice. It was my decision of, I'm going to make, I'm going to take a snapshot of this. And I, did so I can go back to that moment with such intensity and clarity it's astounding and we often do this with and I'm, I'm gonna invite you to do that from here on out do that as many times as you can this next week and hopefully you come back next week for our co-working call and you can fill us in on how it went. We often are, if there's a trigger or there's a wound or there's a trauma, hopefully not, but if if we have a trauma in our life or an emotional um, charged situation, we usually drop down an anchor. And this is from our reptilian brain. We do this for survival to remind ourselves of, oh, remember you touched that stove when it was red and that hurt, so we don't wanna do it again. And we actually drop an energetic anchor into that trauma so that for the sole purpose of remembering to not do that again, which kind of, you know, is ridiculous because we're connecting with that anchor. We're attaching ourselves emotionally and energetically and mentally to that event so that we don't do it again. But we're actually feeding energy and oftentimes mental capacity and oftentimes emotional capacity to that situation. And we want to do that more so with positive things that happen in our lives and decrease the negative. Because if we have a lot of our bandwidth, energetic, emotional and mental bandwidth going to past negative events, we're actually running our energy to those negative events. We want more positive events to remind our bodies, to remind our minds, to remind our energy, to remind the universe, God, source, whatever you believe in. I say our cheer team, our guides, guardians, and angels are our cheer team. And they're ready to send us energy to what we're focusing on. But if we're focusing on, remember this dozen or five dozen things that happened that were bad or were painful, we have to keep that in our in the back of our mind. We have to keep running energy to those negative things. Our cheer team is waiting for us to think of the positive things that we want to focus on and achieve and experience. So try to detach from the negative and look for nuggets of gold. Look for the gold in your day. Remind yourself when you wake up, I'm here to experience gold. I'm here to experience blessings. And one of my favorite mantras or anchor statements, I call them, or it's a question that I came up with with one of my clients and it really produced amazing results within like 12 hours or something crazy for her was 
and you guys have heard this before, you can say to the business or to the universe, surprise, how many ways can you surprise and delight me today? And keep coming back to that question. Look for the gold in your day. Look for how many ways the universe, your business, money, clients can supply your coaches. How many ways can these people, places, things, energies surprise and delight you today? Yeah, so thank you guys. I'm so grateful that you showed up for the call and for your business and for your goals and to get some stuff done. And I'm glad that you did. And let me know, please do reach out and send me a little message saying what um, what you received, what was good, any aha moments uh, from this call. That's always really useful. And remember to do that with your own clients. If anytime you have or do anything, um, yes, do you have a question? Uh, it's not a question, but uh, at the end of like gen events and stuff, oftentimes it's asked like a, well, actually, you may, you might have heard it from uh, Jason Gant, but mm -hmm. uh, what did I like most about this and what did I get out of it? Mm -hmm. like the two questions. Yeah. So, and that's always I'll good. That's a good reminder too, um, for you to do in your in your own work, asking those those questions to your yeah. clients. Um, yeah, because oftentimes clients come to us with something in mind that they need to do or learn or achieve, and it's often, sometimes it's not, but it's more often than not something completely different that they get from working with you or, or from calls mm -hmm. with you. And when they're in the energy of the call, it feels good. They get their aha moments. They get on that wave of this is what I'm, this is what I can experience to help me move forward to achieve my goal. And then once they get off the call, they're like, well, I thought I was going to do this and I didn't do this. So was that, you know, not what I needed? That's not, it maybe, you know, they lose that energy and that emotion. So when you rem remind them of how they're feeling, remind them to seek and look for the aha moments, the good things that came up during that time with you, then that cements that, that anchors them into that, uh, feeling of fulfillment. So it's not just for you, it's for them. Yeah, Kate? I said that makes a lot of sense. Good. Yeah, and it's, um, I kind of resisted doing that for a long time at the beginning of my business. It felt like I was asking them to go above and beyond to give me a testimonial for me it's not just for me, it's for the client as well. But most of my clients are business owners. So if I get in the habit of asking my clients to send me a message after every call of what was your greatest takeaway or what was your favorite part or what was your aha moment or what did this create for you, then they get in the habit of doing that with their clients as well. And that's so beneficial for you guys to have a slew of and create. That's another thing that I wanted to check in with. Create, you know, a folder in Canva or on on Google Drive or your location of, of that you choose. Create a folder for all of your testimonials and reviews. But also when you're creating things on this call or in general for your business, make sure you create like a Google sheet to keep track of what you've created. Cause that I have to go back and backtrack <laughs> and look at like all the things that I, all the YouTube videos, all the meditations, all the audios, 
all the PDFs, my gosh, there's PDFs coming in and out the yin yang. Like it's just insane how many PDFs I have that I lose track of. I don't know what I've, I don't know what I've created in the past six, seven years. I have no clue. <laughs> Even something that I created like one or two months ago, I'm creating yeah. it and I'm like, oh, this is good. This is so good. I, if you, I could not tell you right now what that was. I have no clue. It's, it's gone gone. So when we create a Google sheet and we keep track of what we create, what it's for and the link to it, and then you can actually have a spot there for if somebody says, um, Hey, this was really great. I went through it and I got this experience and da, 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 or then this happened in my life. You can attach the testimonial, drop that into that Google sheet as well. So you have all of that there. So don't be like me and I'm, I'm organized with some things. Some of my clients see my folders or my bookmarks and they're like, oh, wow, you're really organized. I'm organized with some things, but with that, I really need to step up my game. But uh, hopefully that gives you some inspiration to go do the same. Any final thoughts or questions for you guys? Thank you so much for this time. Oh, yes. you're so getting so through it really like anchors my whole week. Good. I'm glad. That's what it is for. And Kate, let me know if we are meeting later on today. Send me a message. Okay. If you want to see more of me. <laughs> or, right. yeah. Or to push another day, I know that you've got some stuff to do. So send me send me a message and we'll talk about that. And I'm so grateful for you guys for showing up. And I, I'm sending you energy, holding the intention that I see you again next week. And you tell me all about the amazing wins you've had. And the amazing week you've had with all of the blessings that just kind of fell into your lap. Hmm. Love that. Love when that happens. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, so good. And I know they are because you gave me some good advice to add some even more. I've been doing the journaling thing. But uh, good. Some good stuff here to guarantee that happens and I actually perceive it. So there's always that second part. Perceiving. Yes. Because <laughs> it could already be happening. But you may not be aware of it. But it's nice That's right. It. <laughs> and the like, that's where assumptions um, I love access consciousness and I'm kind of a stalker. I'm not a facilitator of access consciousness, but they often say that assumptions and conclusions and expectations are bad, but that's where they're good. When you assume that the sun is going to rise tomorrow, when you assume that the Amazon package that you've ordered is going to be delivered, when you assume that your desire, our desire is already in the works, is already being delivered to us that's a good energy to be in right feeling the wishes fulfilled that's mm -hmm. uh you know one of the top key mindset rules or laws yeah but i will be in the expectation conclusion assumption that i will see you guys sometime soon and you'll be giving me so much feedback on all of the wins all the goodies that have happened in your life and in your business and with your income and with your clients and in general yeah thank you so much for being here much love to you guys and i will see you soon bye have a wonderful week probably thank you you too bye bye